October at a much higher price um, and have to pay out additional for a second time for a hotel. Uh, for a hotel. Um, so they're faced with a choice of do they accept the flights um, and continue on the holiday and fork out again in the hope that they will claim back, they should be able to claim back in the future, or do they cancel the holiday and lose the money that they've paid for their flights? Thank you very much. Peter Kyle. Thank you, Chair. Um, Diana and Manuel, I wonder if you could say from your insight of being involved with the company for so long, what do you think they could have done in the last three, four, five years to save the company, or was it just not savable? Diana. Um, I, want, I think there's been a, a lot of examination of that, and there are a number of things that could have been done, but I would like to bring to this committee what could have been done to prevent the what has happened in terms of the collapse in particular of the airline because that was a profitable part of the business and the way in which the collapse was handled has ensured that the jobs have gone rather than that the jobs could have been protected at least for a period of time or perhaps indefinitely had the airline been able to be sold, sold at that point. So I would like to, to make sure that we have on record that the Airline Insolvency Review, which reported this year, laid down examples of how an airline can operate in administration and ways in which it has happened in this country without change to primary legislation, which we believe should have happened in this instance and which would have meant that the aircraft would still be flying as they are in other parts of Europe and that therefore those jobs would not have been lost and also that there was a possibility for either the, those uh, aircraft to be used for the repatriation, therefore saving taxpayers' money and also ensuring that the insurance fund was not depleted. But on top of that, so, so regardless of all the other things that could have been done, there was still a final chance for government to work with all the players concerned to at least save a profitable part of this company. And that opportunity was not taken. Okay. More than 50% of the airline business came from Thomas Cook as well, though. So, you know, what's the core? You know, the, I guess the question is, you know, is could, could something have been done to save the core business of the company going forward? You know, at any point. Any, well, no, it, it's our view that the company should have been saved and that the government should have intervened. It's now become increasingly clear that there was no contact between Thomas Cook and the business secretary. I actually wrote to the business secretary in the run-up to the collapse. I eventually made contact with her two days after, two days after the collapse. It was frankly, it was frankly locking the stable door after the, 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 the horse had bolted. So clearly a lot could have been done. I, it has caught my mind as well, the fact that when you look at the amount of money that taxpayers are going to have to pay 